This playthrough is rated E for everyone. The wilderness calls us, like the full moon calls to the werewolf. Greetings and salutations, viewers, while we're back here with another episode of Grandia. In the last episode, we talked to everyone in town and just got a little bit of the gist of what was going on, took a rest, and now we're heading to the village of Lane, but it looks like we got one, another stop on the way there, the Savannah Wilderness. This is the Savannah. Y'all cross here to the south and go to the Brunan Mountains. The village of Lane is up ahead. It's far away, but y'all don't worry. I can guide y'all right there. Well, thanks, uh... Thanks, Milda. Milda, uh, yeah, Milda, you're the greatest. Anyway, let's find some... What the? Scorpion's hiding under rocks? Well, it's actually like, like real life when you think about it. But we fought these guys before. They're scissor locks, so same thing as before. Nothing uh, new about these guys. Um... From before, just hit them with uh, Blizzard or Thunder. They're strong to win, uh, you know, so forth and so on. So, anyway, uh, actually, let's show off. Uh, since we just got wind not too long ago, let's show off. Uh, uh, if you can even get to it in time. <laughs> Blow your way. Take that. His enthusiasm is just infectious. <laughs> Hiya. But yeah, since he's so weak, it's not gonna really work in this case, so. Oh well. Eh. Where's that? Oh yeah, she doesn't have. Yeah, I was just have Howl slash. That'll do more damage. Oh, wind twist like a tornado! Even though it's a bit overkill, but, you know. What have I never not been selling? I change my weapons out for a bit. What a finch! There's not really any major uh, items to be gained from this this place, so at least in terms of like item drops, anyway. Let me double check though. Uh, yeah, no major items, so I can unequip the uh, gill swords. So not that it's really been helping me, at least in the last dungeon. That didn't help me at all. That's a little lightning sword. Let's see. Let me look at our move list. See how we've been doing so far. Uh, he's getting up there in levels with sword. Let's see, dagger. Yeah, he needs some sword levels. Same as her, but she just doesn't get her turn fast enough, you know? Alright, let's give you the lightning sword just to get you some sword levels for a while. Yeah, we'll give you the gun knife. Uh, yeah, still use sword for him, so. Alright. Yeah, that's the problem with having too many people just using the same type of weapon. Also, let's swap out. Uh, swap out the plug suit, give it to, uh, give, uh, Justin the Dark Armor, and give the plug suit to Milda, see if we can get her some more. Let her move a bit faster. I'm almost thinking about giving her the, uh, uh, the act ring, the, the one we got, like, a while back, that'll let us, uh, uh, that gave us, like, 15 act or something like that, so. Let's give it a conklet for a while, so. What the? What are these bird-like things? Well, you're about to find out. I'm in the mood for chicken. Anyway, these are flatbirds. Flatbirds, huh? Well, that doesn't sound annoying at all. They can attack you. They got the back kick ability. And then they can throw eggs at you. Yum, scrambled. Uh, they come in groups of six usually. They have 255 HP. They drop 70 experience, 78 gold. No items to speak of. They are weak to blizzard and thunder. And uh, uh, they're not strength, strong or immune to any weapons. And no immunities uh, from elements. Uh, let's see, I don't think there's anything else really to say about them. Uh, yeah, just walking birds. They're not as fun as chocobos, though, so. This'll teach you. Yeah, a good place to get uh, some uh, what, uh, what the, or, uh, magic levels because of how, how many there are here. Ooh, could use could use splitter here to get her some uh, some pieces of weapon levels. Depends on who gets to who gets to who first, you know. Blow your way, take that. Okay, nice. I'm gonna knock y'all down at once. Ha! Hurrah! 
she did some uh, sword levels, you know. There you go. No problem. Woo! A nice amount, amount of money there. Then you go back to town at some point and buy that aura armor. Since it's like 20,000 gold, I was just hoping I was going to get some precious gem drops from the, uh, the, uh, zombies in, uh, the Castle of Dreams, but no. Anyway, we got some money here. All regular bags of gold are 220, uh, gold pieces. I don't think there's one big bag of, of gold around here, but that'll be for farther in, so. I'll come back later, maybe fight these guys at a later date. And some more money over here. This place can be a bit overwhelming just because of, uh, um, yeah, Justin's weapon levels are too high by this point because now he's, uh, gained only one experience per hit now, so, oh well. Well, it means I don't have to worry about grinding we uh, Justin's weapon levels for a long time. Hey, we get a moose seed here. Let's see, do I want to change? I might give... Uh, I give Rapper Fina the energy charm just to... Uh, let them hit multiple, uh, just to get more SP use or something like that, so. Oh yeah, I gotta give you back the Eye Stone again. Although his spells are so fast, I probably don't need the, the Eye Stone anymore, so. Oh yeah, let's, uh, yeah, let's give you the chain gem. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I forgot to swap out my, uh, my accessories last episode, so. Anyway, we got the Moosey, which is the plus two to SP. Uh, right now... SP wise, maybe Fina. Uh, that's a tough one. Oh well, anyway. But yeah, in this place, uh, it might be a bit overwhelming because of the area. Best way to do it is maybe focus on the river. Yeah, that might be the best way to kind of keep you organized. But even with all of his levels, if, if uh, Justin ca casts Dragon King Slice, he can uh, get a decent amount of uh, um, experience from those uh, birds. Dang, dirty birds. Yeah, there's the potion there. And another scorpion! Try to get me. There we got a blue potion there. Uh, don't waste it. stung. Dang it. Alright, that scorpion got me and stung me. Well, stung Fina anyway, so a nasty little critter he is. You're quite, you're quite nasty. You're naughty. But anyway, just fix that little annoyance. Anyway, we get our uh, man egg finally. Well, I mean, we got one last episode. But uh, yeah, this is the final man egg that I need throughout the game because we've gotten everything for wrap. So, uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about it anymore. You can get more man eggs and you can use them on other people. But at this point, this is the final egg that I really need. After that, I'll, I can either sell them or whatever. So, And if you missed them along the way, the game just makes up for it because you get 18... Uh, uh, eggs over the course of the game without being random drops and yes there are cases where uh the uh eggs can drop on you at some point i was trying to get away from that guy he just wouldn't let up if you want to leave this place like immediately dang it despite getting the drop on me i was able to get a, a, a flawless a flawless victory anyway if you go south from here you can actually leave the place immediately and go on to your next objective but let's keep exploring shall we i can go up here but Justin, lane is not in this year direction. To go to lane, y'all go a little south and cross the Brennan Plateau. If and y'all don't intend to go the long way, it's better to go back a little and proceed south. Nah, it's okay. I want to go this way anyway, so... You can't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. You can be my mom, though, I guess. <laughs> uh, anyway, let's uh, head on out here. Wah! Yeah, we got some Zill Scorpions. Yeah, we've seen these guys before in the Zill Desert, but they make an appearance here. Well, I'm gonna get poisoned all up in this place, but... Yeah, well. As I'd say, who's gonna get their turn first? Yeah, might as well give her a splitter. Why not? You know, let's heal, even though I can heal outside of battle, but we'll give uh, her the experience. Please protect us! 
It looks like she's about to charge in when she uh, does her uh, charge for attack. I'm gonna knock y'all down at once. Ha! Hurrah! That's just gonna bust, bust open the. Kind of reminds me of Kirby, actually. <laughs> Ta da! Uh, I forgot what game it was. It was, it was. I think it was on the Super Nintendo where there was like a. You test your strength, and you could actually, if you were, did well enough, you punched it, cracked a hole in the earth or something like that, so. But, yeah, I gained her level, finally. Man. Just because it takes takes too long, but yeah. I think there's like, I think we've run into all the enemies here, actually. No, there's the, the dizzy moths around here, too. Um, they're also a remnant from the previous area, but. All right. Aha, there you are. Try to sneak up on me. Uh, just to remind you of the Dizzy Moths, for those who forgot. Oh yeah, on the uh, Zill Cor Scorpions, it's the same as before. Uh, whoops. Uh, sorry, my notes here. Uh, Zill Scorpions, uh, they were weak to Blizzard or Thunder, strong against Fire. Uh, yeah, nothing really crazy about them. And then the Dizzy Moths, uh, um, they have a, well, there's the same as before. Oh, actually, yeah. Um, Dizzy Moths have 180 HP. They drop 56 experience, 58 gold. I was trying to think if we, they were in the previous area. Not now that I think about it, I think they weren't. They might be new to this area. So sorry about that. I was getting my notes mixed up there for a second. Anyway, uh, they are weak to Blizzard and Thunder and don't have any other strengths or weaknesses or immunities. They can attack, defend, and they can use poison scales on us. So yay, everything poisons us here. So if you uh, want a way to protect yourself, you'll get poison resistance stuff. So. Now let's get your knife level up. Strike through. Nice. <laughs> Pretty easy. And they don't drop anything either, by the way. Yeah, finally getting some levels now. Yeah, we did all this grinding so early in the game. By the time we've actually gotten to a certain point, now we're not really getting anything anymore. So. That's kind of why I like doing it a bit earlier, because then you it slows down a lot, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Yeah. Let's see, there should be another treasure up in the corner, I believe. So I think we. No, hold on. Let me see. Ah, there it is. Yeah. Scorpions, leave me alone. Hey, let's head on to the east savannah. Sorry, next to uh, objective. Like I said, you could avoid this if you want, but. How's our HP actually looking? I don't think we got hurt that badly, but. Yeah, more levels for uh, wrap. Although we're starting to hit our max, at least in terms of certain spells, because yeah, see Athena there, she's already hit max uh, uh, MP for level 1, which is 99. So. So now I don't have to give her magic uh, stuff anymore. Like in terms of raising your MP. You could probably use your MP for like someone like Rap since he doesn't have a ton of experience either way, but yeah, Rap is not not really meant for magic. Yeah, Rap's designed to be more of a hit and runner type of guy where he just does like a ton of damage with his weapons and stuff like that and skills. You can build him up with magic. It's just by the time you get him in the game, you've already done all that work with Justin and Fina that you just want to focus on certain things with him. Maybe we get an all seed there. We saw, we saw those before in the previous uh, area, the strength of will. I forgot to mention the all fruit I got in the in the um, soldier's graveyard. That adds plus three to all those stats. I haven't used it yet, but I thought it mentioned the fact that I forgot. I, I forgot I got it, but I thought it, I think I called it an all seed by accident when it was an all fruit. So scorpions, get away. Yeah, silly scorpions not giving me any experience anymore. Oh well. Yeah, they're everywhere, man. They keep bugging me. Getting into things. Ugh. Nah, they're not that bad. I just like making making fun. Alright, where's our another item? It should be over in the corner here. Haha, -ha. there we go. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Mo birds, mo birds, mo birds. All right, Justin gained a level for that encounter. Uh, yeah, his wits keeps going up. Nice. He's getting faster and faster. Uh, Rapid Feet also gained wind levels from that, too. So, 
because of the six uh, uh, birds there, it really adds up. Really, this is more a place for Raf to get some levels with his spells if you're really trying to do that. Uh, yeah, we can go up here. Yeah, we couldn't go around earlier, so we have to go over this little uh, little uh, walkway. Just avoid all the enemies down below. I see you down there, peasants. You cannot touch his royal highness. That is me. Anyway, well, let's get down here. All right, grab more money. Yeah, most of the stuff here is just cash, but hey, why not? We need all the cash we can get if we want to buy that aura armor. I mean, I've got enough to buy a couple of things of aura armor. I just kept hoping I was going to get some uh, um, money from the castle, castle of dreams. Oh, well. Where are you? There it is. Ha ha. All right, here we get the slouch weed. We've run into those before, but show it off again for those who forgot. Uh, minus two level action for an enemy. So, if we'd been fighting some enemies earlier that actually had uh, that didn't have vanish on them, I would have been a uh, you know using it. But no, it's like right there. But nope, we can't get it quite yet. Yeah, I'm mainly avoiding a lot of monsters because there's really no, like I said, there's really no reason for me to fight them, to tell you the truth. They're not giving me much in the way of experience. So, if I fight them, I fight them, but it's not, that's not my, that's not my reason for being, as we're. Yeah, another looky look there. Alright, let's grab, yeah, let's go this way because, uh, there's a couple more treasures Near the exit. We're almost near the exit, but let's take a little detour, shall we? And I'll show you one final little, uh, well, not secret, but one final little place we'll come back to much later. We could technically do what I'm going to do right now, but the thing is, uh, what's inside is uh, very dangerous, and we don't want to fight what's within, you know? I'll show you here in a second what I'm talking about, though. Where's all this precious treasure I'm missing over here? Hello, where are you? Uh-oh, no, no, no scorpion, no. At least the bird, don't come after me, no! All right, Rap gained a uh, sword level from that fight. Didn't really, because I got ambushed, I didn't really get a good chance to get some uh, uh, wind levels out of it. Oh, well. But yeah, this is the big bag of money I was talking about before, so. All right, that's a uh, 660 right there. 660. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the last couple of treasures here before we leave. What are you yawning on the corner there, huh? There's the money. And there should be. Let's see, where are you? There's a hidden there, or the hidden. There's a. Uh, there it is. Haha. -ha. Yeah, this one's easy to miss. I can figure out to get through it. There we go. Okay. And what's this? The teleportation room. The teleportation room. What are you talking about? Well, let's take a look. Yeah, this leads to the Tower of Temptation, the final uh, side dungeon in the game. Completely optional. However,. The reason I'm not going to do it today, and I could go through some of it. One, this ta ta this tower uh, dungeon is long. There's like multiple rooms, uh, pretty large size. Uh, two, the enemies are a little bit tougher. Not that I can't handle the enemies themselves, but the bosses themselves are different. Like the final boss in this place is probably the hardest enemy, uh, hardest boss in the game, next to the squid from uh, the uh, disc one, relative to where you're at and like what damage it could do and everything with that. I think it's even tougher than the final boss to tell you the truth but uh so yeah it's an optional area to go to we'll come here later with a different party member so this magical launch pad is the only place in the world that leads to the tower of temptation i have confidence in my power only one with relentless discipline may advance to the center of the circle yeah we're not gonna do that yet we could use milda here but uh yeah her speed does not does not make her very useful for this part place unfortunately so oh well but something to consider but yeah this is the 
Yeah, there's not too many optional dungeons in this game. Uh, this game is pretty straightforward in what you want and what it wants out of it. Like it's an action adventure game that goes from pretty much from point to point and explain and just does a, a story. So there's not like a whole bunch of optional side quests and stuff like that through this whole area. So I do kind of wish there was more side quests and stuff like that, but I can kind of understand why they didn't have anything in the first place. Thanks, Scorpions. All right, gained a sword level for Justin there. Used a Dragon King slice on the, on them. Surprised I got so much experience out of it. All right, let's see. I think I need to go. I think I gotta go back a little bit because there's a, a there's another hidden passage around here with a, a a seed that a lot of people miss the first time they come through. Let's just see if I can find it. Because there's the one here that takes us to the Tower of Temptation. However, there's another one not too far off. Yeah, sometimes I'm bad with, like, my side around here. Okay, yeah, it's in that cave area there. I just went off the wrong direction, so, okay. Just making sure I was aware. But yeah, it's, it's hidden in there, but the, the problem is that, like, you have to go off a dead end section so it's easy to get uh like let's see i think it's let's see if i can find it yeah it's a tough one to figure out where where it's at there it is huh i knew it was around here somewhere all right yeah another move seed okay yeah sometimes i forget like little details like where it is stupid birds all right, got a uh, uh, wind level for wrap there. All right, let's head, let's head back. Let's see, oh, no, wrong way. Got to turn around there for a second. Even though it's not really that difficult or confusing. Nuts! Don't you hate it when monsters pop up on you just from behind? Not cool game, not cool. Yeah, I got myself got myself lost for a second. But no matter. Okay, back this way. Yeah, I was Let's see, this way is no oh, actually this isn't the right way, so yeah, see. You go up here. There's nothing. Can you see it, viewers? Can you see it? Okay. Wait, well, anyway, Let's actually go the right way. I'm just being silly today. Yeah, there's not. Oh, like I said. Uh, I mean, this is a nice, cool, nice, cool area, but there's not really much, really, in the grand scheme of things, that's here to really, you know, that's really awesome. Just a wilderness area that looks kind of neat, you know. Still, it's a nice area. Mods, mods. Thank you. Get away. I don't want to deal with your stuff today. Yeah, we'll come back here much later in the game. Maybe not at the very end of the game, but you know, a bit, bit far, far away. You know, until we get back to the spot. Go this way. There should be two more treasures in this place I missed before going going to this uh, side tangent. Uh, can't get past you guys. Aha! Another mana egg. Yep. Two mana eggs. Ah ah ah! Ah! That's all right. Yeah, they keep they keep trying to they keep trying to scuttle me. Get get the nips on my heels poisoning me and all this other stuff. But I like if I've never been stung by a uh, scorpion before, so I don't know what it feels like. I assume it's not pleasant. But anyway, with that, we leave the Savannah wild Wildlands, or Wilderness, and head to the Brennan Plateau. Is that a rainbow lake there? Huh. Anyway, let's head back to Zilpan. I actually need to stop, uh, drop some stuff off before we head into the next area. Yeah, I forgot to drop a lot of stuff off from the Castle of Dreams. So... Yeah, so probably maybe I should do. Uh, let's see, how's our healing going? So, well, obviously we're gonna heal, but 
Yeah, I really didn't take that much damage while we were there, as you can see. Yeah, just stay in our rooms. Heal up and ready to go. Alright, so. See, quite a few things I don't need. Let's see. Yeah, let's get rid of all these uh, items. I actually don't need these. I just kept them just in case, you know, during that one fight. You get rid of one of the main eggs. We don't need that anymore. Or the dragon vests. I'll hold off on the all seeds. I'll use them later. And let's see. And, uh, yeah, we got the we got that one one whip, so we don't need that anymore. So we get rid of that. So we can sell that at a later date. And I don't need the white metal. Yeah, I'll sell these later. Yeah, she doesn't need that power attack anymore, so... Eh. Okay. Alright. Oh yeah, let's get, uh, let's get our last, uh, magic level, or magic, uh, for Rap, and he will be complete. And yeah, we won't need, uh, any main eggs for the rest of the game, so sell them or do what you want. That's why if you ended up using all those eggs on Sue, it wasn't that big of a deal, you know, because you'll you'll get it all eventually. So, uh, I don't really need that armor, so I could just go on to the next area without without worrying about armor stuff. And that was kind of a short area, so overall, so let's continue on. I was thinking it would take me longer to go through through that dungeon, so let's go to, go on to the Brennan Plateau. Brennan Plateau is a little bit more. Uh, not complicated. It's, well, it is kind of from a map standpoint, but... Well, it lies over the Brennan Mountains. Y'all are used to warm places. Rap, this will be a mod intense. What? There's no such mountain that, that this rap can't cross. If in y'all so tough. All right, let's go. Ah, I like her attitude. I don't know, just something about it. Just screams uh, fun and fancy free. We're moving like a right or wrong. We're moving fancy free. But, yeah. Ooh, what's this? New creatures! Finally. Alright, what do we got here? Snowboar! Snowboar? Huh. Those don't look like boar to me. They look like bears to me. Yeah. You know, are y'all are y'all prepared for bear hunting? I am. So anyway, let's uh let's look at these guys. The uh snow uh the snow boar, they uh, have 246 HP. They are weak to explosion and thunder. They are weak. Uh, they're strong against blizzard and wind. They are immune to the forest type of magic. Uh, no weapon immunities or strengths or weaknesses. They have 80 experience, 78 gold drop, and they have a spell called All Together: Defend, Paralyzing Fluid, and Regular Attack. Uh, no items that they drop that I am aware of. There's actually only two enemies on this whole mountain anyway, so really not much to worry about in terms of what what they've got. And I think there's actually I don't even think the other creature here has any drops either. Oh he does, but it's not really that big of a deal, so. Alright, well anyway. Sorry, just, when I'm clicking uh, if you can hear like little clicks it means I'm going through my notes, so there's paralyzing blue right there, so Alright, well anyway. Uh, yeah the only electric ability I have is Dragon Zap. I've shown that one off, haven't I? Uh, let's see. Strong against wind, so yeah, there's really not much I could do for. Her. I, mean, I could use fire, I guess, even though they're not really weak to it. Oh, lightning! Strike down the enemy! Bye bye. Easy. Yeah, this. Oh, yeah, in terms of like stats, they're pretty much even all around. Their biggest stat is like strength at 130. Uh, so, but. They're slower, but not really crazy slow. Alright, let's see what they were going towards. Money! The money here, regular bags are 250, and the, uh, uh, the big bags are 750. So. What the? 
Oh, we got ice here, but we're not slipping and smoothing around, are we? This new area is finally giving me some experience, so I can finally go a little bit more ham on these guys. There we got the money there. What the? Yeah, these are the other creatures here. These are... Mountain apes. They look like a certain Squatch creature, or Yeti, if you know what I mean. But we've already run into Yeti, so... But anyway, uh, these guys have, can throw... Uh, they can, can attack you, they can do a snowball throw, and use Earth Rend. Uh, they've got 330 HP, 100 experience drop, 200 gold drop. Stats overall are even, though they do have low vitality, so you could smack them a bit. Uh, in terms of uh, weaknesses, they've got uh, weapon, no elemental immunities or weapon immunities, but they are weak to explosion and thunder, and strong against blizzard and wind. Uh, I believe we could also use fire on them as well, and that would work. They also drop uh, Necaroma scrolls. Those are the ones that do like 50 per, or heal 50 per uh, uh, to all party members, I believe. Blaze brightly, oh flame! Really getting into it, aren't you, Pina? It's been a while since I've used an explosion ability. Uh, yeah, I'll choose Boom Pal, why not? Giant Blast! Have I shown that one off? No, I don't think so. What a cinch. That's pretty much it for the enemies here. So, yeah, nothing really crazy. So, but I did get a fire level. So, and rap gained a level as well. So, yep, more wit, more wit. Faster, faster, faster. You can never be too fast. Never, never. But, yep. So, yeah, not a bad. Uh, now that we've got the next step of enemies here, we're going to now start. We could grind a little bit if we want to. <laughs> Just break through the. Break through the wall of ice. Oh, you just don't want me to get that money, huh? All right, I'm going to have to take you for it. But yeah, this is definitely the perfect area to get uh, fire levels just because everything's sweet to fire here. So, go into the main area itself. What the? The glacier, a pond, I guess. Is there, is there, is there slip mechanics? No, not really. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm kind of glad, though. But anyway, we get some crampons? Not croutons or whatever. Huh. I think those are supposed to be the shoes that have, like, cleats on them or something like that. But anyway. Yeah, they got plus 8 defense and plus 10 to uh, move. And it's for walkies. No. But, yeah. not For what we've been buying, that's really not worth... The defense is not worth the loss of move, to tell you the truth. At least to me, personally. Seems like we got a skating rink, skating rink of doom here or something like that. I do like the aesthetics of it. Nuts. All right, gained an earth level for Justin. Man, this place is a really good spot to use Dragon King Slice. To just use that energy saver or whatever, and uh, boom. And we get a rest knot here. Because uh, it makes it cost half, and man. Or energy charm. I'm sorry, I keep using the wrong description. Anyway, rest knot. Plus two defense level for a friend. For a friend, of course. You give him all types of nuts. Back onto the glacial pond. No! Yeah, well, I, I don't know. I just like I just like this area just because of the this, this part. Yeah, just the ice skating rink here, just of, of enemies, just is just kind of enjoyable to mess with. But all right, let's go on to the next area. Whoa! Stop chasing me, booze! Oh, you got me, man. Those ice, those snow apes, man. They'll 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 pop up on you. Jack in the box, man. Jack in the box. Five people have heard my game, uh, heard my play, uh, listen to my my playthroughs over the years. Probably wonder why I keep mentioning Jack in the Box. It's just one of those funny things you hear in your life, and you just keep repeating it, just ad nauseum. I gotta be careful to keep using. I keep using Justin to keep using Dragon Game Slice, but I got another sword level. And if we go over here, we get a power seed. All right. Yeah, it's just one of those jokes I, I say all the time. Just, just because I, it's one of those in jokes. You know, you say it to yourself and you're like, <laughs> you know, and you laugh at it, and then you cry. But anyway, yeah, we got a healing point here. That's why I wasn't too worried about just spamming attacks and stuff like that. So, 
Oh, you're probably wondering, am I going to finally use uh, Sue's crayon stuff on Rap now that he's got all the spells? Why, yes, I just forgot to do it. That's all. Back off, man. Jeez. No, but seriously, we're going to. We'll use it later, so. All right, well, let's get I am here. Yeah, we're in the mountains themselves now. All right. Life seed is ours. Okay. So let's head this way now. Let's get us a couple treasures. I'm always a fan of snow areas in games. Whether it be from uh, the music or... Oh, I can't go that way, huh? But anyway, from the, just the music, the atmosphere, whatever. And snowboards. All right, Mill to gain a uh, um, sword level. I used a her shatter ability on those creatures. If only I could get through here. Uh, and we got the treasure over here. More money. All right, what the? Huh? A snowball? Snowball's chance in all the all the realms. Uh, why did we do that? Well, you know that, that area earlier we couldn't access because uh, it looked like it was blocked off? Well, let's head back there now. That way would, that would we push that snowball there. What the? Yeah, I made a spot we could walk over. Thank you, snowball. Whoa! Take that, snow ape. All right, Peter gave a level from that battle. Yeah, it seems like our wit seems to be growing pretty, pretty good overall. So, and she got a three strength boost. Always appreciate it. But uh, oh, we gained a uh, earth level for uh, Justin too. Just keep using those dragon cuts, baby. That's the easiest way to get Justin levels later on. Maybe we get the fire sword. Unfortunately, if you've been to the optional dungeons, that's really not much of a reward. But we'll check it out anyway, just because we got the lightning sword, which is much better. But uh, 30 attack. I mean, it's the same as our gill sword. <laughs> the only reason... Uh, I mean, I could use it because it would be effective against the enemy, but I've been using, using the Dragon King Slice all the time. So, and with my energy saver, you know, it's even cheaper, so... Yeah, hey, let's say. Uh, heal up really... Did I get hit at all? No. But we'll heal anyway. Just uh, just so... Uh, oh, since Mild uh, got, uh, got enough... Uh, Weapon levels. Now she could use uh, her uh, her big ability twice. Woo! Let's go get the rest of the treasures in this place. Ah! All right, gained a fire level for uh, Rap. Yeah, decent place to get him, get his levels. The snow is everywhere, man. They're in the walls. Or is it the ceilings? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, yeah, we gained another sword level for Justin. Might swap out to another weapon at this point. Yeah, we're getting. Yeah, we'll stick with the sword for a little while. Why not? Even though I don't really need to equip it because, you know, there's no rare items here, so. Yeah, I got hit pretty hard by the snowball, by the snow apes. Got a bit unlucky there, but, yeah. Not a big deal. Huh. I wonder. Let's keep going first, but obviously this direction is important. See nothing here but more snow apes. Yeah, that's it. Oh, what the? Hmm. Here we get a sill sword. A sill sword. Perhaps it means something else. Let's take a look. The silent sword. Yeah, it uh, gives you a uh, magic block effect um, when you hit someone. Possibly give a magic block. So, imagine I might as well equip it just because, like I said, there's no one with rare weapons here anyway. Well, the fire sword would be better. Wow, I'm actually surprised I avoided the whole encounter. <laughs> Not that I was trying to, per se, but... Another snowball? Hmm. Where does this go? Well, somewhere on the other side. You could hear it, but uh, we don't know where. Yeah, blocks off uh, allows us access to... Actually, you have to use this to actually leave the place. If you don't hit that, you can't leave. Because that's actually a way to the exit, so. Alright, let's run back. I mean, I could have fought those guys. Like I said, I could use the more levels. Why not? It's just, at this point in the game, I start slowing down on the levels quite a bit by this point. Now, we're getting to the point where Dragon King Slice almost activates almost instantly. That's insane at this point. 
And it's only 22 SP. Uh, interesting thing about using Dragon King's license, if you have a weapon that does, hits multiple enemies, uh, it'll, like, that magic block effect can hit multiple enemies when you do Dragon King's slice. Same with the Gill Sword. Because you have to kill the person with the, with either a skill or ability from the user that has the weapon to get the, I think it's like 10%. Uh, from what I understand, it's like a case of, if, if, it, if, a, if the drop tables are under 10%, it raises it to 10%. If it's over 10%, then it raises it to nil. Like, it's supposed to improve uh, uncommon drops or whatever. So, at least from what I understand. But I I don't know the full details of the, of the situation there. So, it's a bit confusing. Yeah, no one's really done, like, a, an intense, like, research like hack the game type of situation on all these uh, weapons and items and everything like that. All right, Mildred gained a sword level for that. How is her levels? Like really I've just been working on, because she hardly ever gets a chance to hit anyone. Yeah, her levels really haven't gone up since I've gotten her, at least a weapon wise, she's just too slow. Oh well, you're too slow. Oh well, we still love Minda anyway, Milda. I don't know why I said Minda. It's been forever since I played the, the uh, game that actually has that character in it, so. Alright, we just have to fight you. Fine. Another sword level for Justin. And Dragon King Slice, baby. It's what it is. Yeah, it's maxed out on my stats now. Anyway, here we get an ex uh, explosive explosion charm. I don't know if I said explosive. No, we're not qu uh, quitting things that makes it make us explode. Yeah, plus two to explosion and fire and earth resistance, so. Yeah, uh, let's see on our move set. Oh yeah, I guess I can't really show it here. Well, in the combat scenario, so boards attack us. All right, getting to fire level for Justin. Um, I forgot to mention what all 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 aboard means for these snowboards. What it means is they summon like three more of them to uh, fight you. So, so really good place for level grinding, I guess. All right, Mill to gain the level. Probably your last level, actually. Eh, still, you know, strength, but yeah, Justin has far surpassed her by this point. Look at that, 159 from Justin. Ooh, boy. Yeah, Justin is a house by this point in the game. Anyway, final, final, final thing here, and final uh, exit from the area. There's really no reason to fight these guys, so. All right, we've dealt with our, we've dealt with the, uh, the heavy, the heavy, uh, um, we dealt with the de dryness of the desert, the wetness of the wilderness, and the coldness of the plateau, all to make our way to the Lane Village itself. What awaits us in the Lane Village? What does Mil Milda's darling actually look like? And will we find out uh, the clues to our next destination with the three wise men of Lane? I'll find out next time in the next episode of Grandia. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.